So just the other day I made my first post bag video and one of the items in the in the post bag was this module from uh, Protopic. So um so this is a chip here so the TMP36 is a temperature uh, chip so it allows you to digitally read the temperature and um, so Protopic made this nice circuit board for it so in a moment I'm going to solder this on here and um, and then try and use it through the software on the micro bit. Um, so this, I mean, this temperature scale doesn't do anything. This is just uh, decorative. So it's really just the the chip talking through the analog port into the micro bit. And um, so we'll we'll have a go at programming that. Now, if you've actually looked at the micro bit before, if you program the micro bit before, you might have seen on there that there is a, a temperature block and you can read the temperature and um, uh, so you might think that this that having the external chip is not really necessary um, but let's let's go and look at that in the make code site and understand what that temperature blob is so looking at uh, the make code site here so I've made a little program here using the blocks language so we can read the onboard temperature. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so there's this item called temperature and you can read it into a variable and you can uh, uh, hear, well here obviously I'm displaying the value so if you click button A it reads the temperature so, so and, and in the simulator here you get this quite nice little temperature bar so it shows you that it's reading the temperature. So that's saying 21 but let's look at what this temperature actually represents so if we look at the documentation so it says here the BBC microbit does not have a dedicated temperature sensor instead the temperature provided is actually the temperature of the silicon die on the main CPU so so basically there's a, an onboard temperature sensor in the chip and it's reading the temperature of the CPU um, now obviously that's that may be different from the temperature in the room because sometimes CPUs when they're working hard they get hotter so it'll be hotter than the the surrounding temperature in the room so I mean down here at the bottom it says um, uh, but there may be and probably is a baseline offset ie it might return 20 degrees when it's actually 17 but it would return 21 when it's 18 etc so so they're saying here that the the temperature reported by the micro bit through this temperature variable is going to be high because it's the CPU temperature and not necessarily the ambient room temperature so what I can do is I can I can load this program into a micro bit um, and then we'll write the code for the TMP36 and we'll load that into another micro bit and we can actually put the two side by side and we can we can compare the values and see basically how how wrong this um, this internal reading of the temperature is right I've got my soldering iron warmed up and so I'm going to put this uh, TMP36 into its correct place see on the circuit board here it actually shows a little outline of the the chip so you can't possibly get it the wrong way up which is good so let me pull that center pin up a bit so I'll put that in there nice and snug and get some solder on it
slightly wonky, but uh, that will work. So I've got both micro bits connected up now. So the one on the left is uh, looking at the internal temperature from the um, from the CPU. The one on the right is wired up to the TMP36, so we can compare them. I've, I've also got another thermometer here, so you can see the temperature in the room. So that's reading, well, depending on which sensor you look at, 22 degrees or just less than 22 degrees. This uh, this thing's got a sensor inside, and it's also got one of these external sensors, so you can hang it out the window, and they are both reading slightly differently, but never mind. Um, so if we you press the left hand one, so this is the internal reading, so that's saying 22 degrees, so that's a good match for the reading on here. And looking at the TMP36, this is also reading 22. Okay, so on the on the face of it, the uh, internal sensor is actually just as accurate as the the TMP36 and the external board. So um, I can just demonstrate if though if I hold on to the sensor here I should be able to warm it up. Let's see if I can change the temperature. Still reading 22 at the moment. Try and warm up the face of the device. There you go, 23. So the the temperature of the sensor is increasing now. So, I mean, this could be a useful device if you, you know, if you want the sensor to be somewhere different than the the um, the micro bit, I and mean, you could hang this out the window, couldn't you? In a way, you might not want to hang your micro bit out the window. Um, so, uh, okay, well, I should show you the software that I loaded in here and explain um, how we read the input from this port and how we turn it back into a, a temperature reading. So um, let's do that. So looking at the uh, the software that I put in that right hand micro bit, so again we've got the on button A pressed, so when I press the A button it um, it drops into this piece of code. So first of all what I'm doing here so I'm reading a value from the uh, analog pin, from pin zero. And then there's a couple of lines here where I do some transformations on it. First of all, to get the, the millivolts, and then to, temperature, uh, to, to translate the millivolt reading into an actual temperature reading. Because the, this device, the TMP36, um, uses voltage to represent temperature. So, um, so it has a voltage that's always proportional to the temperature that it sees. So I do a bit of conversion and then finally I'm showing the number on the display. So why am I doing this transformation? Well first of all we need to get the uh, the, the reading in millivolts because there's a, a voltage that the TMP36 is applying to that pin zero. Now when you read through an analog port what you're getting is a is a count and it the count uh, represents voltage, but it's in the range 0 to 1023. So this is why I've got the 1024 at the end here. So we're getting the count. And um, this number here, 3100, this represents the uh, voltage available to the TMP36. So on the power pin, um, well, actually coming out of the 3-volt the pin here, it's slightly more than 3 volts, it's 3.1 volts, so that's why I put the 3100 here. And that's what powers the TMP36. So basically when I take the the uh, reading, which is the count 0 to 1023, multiply it by the 3.1 volts, and then divide it by 1024, what I'm getting is actually a count, which is a number of millivolts. So this is the number of millivolts representing the temperature. Now, to actually turn it into the temperature, there's a, a little bit of a tricky thing here. 
So um, uh, the the 500 here re represents half a volt, and the TMP36. If you look at the data sheet, it says that half a volt is what happens when the temperature is is zero degrees centigrade. So when we get a reading in millivolts, we have to subtract subtract 500 in order to to get the correct um, offset. Then um, having done that, we divide by 10 because um, there are a 10, 10 millivolts per degree centigrade. So this is the way that the TMP36 works. It, it represents each change of one degree C as 10 millivolts on the interface. So after doing those two conversions, we've actually turned the reading on pin zero into the temperature reading, which we show on the display. Just to explain a little bit what I was saying about the the way that the TMP36 represents temperature. If you look at a, a graph of the TMP36, and there's something like this, a little bit like this in the data sheet. So basically, if you have a voltage up here, the output voltage of the TMP36, and then along here you have a temperature in degrees C. The um, relationship between the two is something like this. So um, at zero degrees C here at the crossing point, the voltage is 0 0.5 volts. So that allows it to the TMP36 to show a small range of uh, negative temperatures as well. But at 0 degrees C, the output of the device is 0 0.5 volts. And then there's this straight line. So basically, as the temperature increases, the voltage output also increases. So it's it's completely proportional, the temperature to, to the voltage. And then if you were to look at the, the gradient of this line, basically what happens is that for every one degree centigrade along here, the voltage increases by 10 millivolts. So that allows you for any particular value of temperature to make quite a precise measurement via the voltage output. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my latest video on the micro bit. Obviously, um, if there's something you want to say, there's the comment area down below, please give me a comment. Um, and if you like this video, obviously, uh, give me a thumbs up. Okay, thanks.